This is a molecule with two chiral carbons in wedge and dash projection. You can view this molecule from this side and uh, then your front carbon will be here and back carbon will be here. So you can draw the Newman projection now. The front carbon is shown by a dot and the back carbon is sh shown by a circle and then at the front carbon you have this A, C and D, A at the top, C at the right and D at the left. And then you can also draw these B, E and F. So you see B is right behind A, like this. F is right behind C and uh, E is right behind D. Okay. Then from here we can rotate the CC bond. We can rotate uh, either the back carbon or the front carbon. So let's rotate the back carbon which is shown by the circle. Let's rotate the bond such that we are holding this. We are holding the front carbon and rotating the back carbon by 60 degrees. Then we will get uh, what is called staggered configuration. So confirmation to be more exact, staggered confirmation. So you can draw this eclipsed form, eclipsed confirmation or staggered confirmation. You should notice how one uses the word confirmation and configuration and projection. So what are projections? Wedge and dash is a kind of projection, new man is a kind of projection and then Fisher projection you have and then you also have sawhorse projection. These are the ways in which we can draw the molecule. Then what is configuration? The configuration is a, a property of the chiral carbon. It could be in R or S. And what is conformation? A conformation is uh, the, uh, the different kind of molecules which you get when you rotate the single bonds. So this eclipsed and staggered, these are two conformations. Okay, let's now move. Uh, we can also see that this uh, wedge and dash is drawn in eclipsed conformation. You can see that the groups are right behind each other. So this is a wedge and dash in eclipsed. And yes, you can see conformation in wedge and dash also. So this is eclipsed. You can rotate uh, by 60 degrees the back carbon, this carbon, in such a way that the, the F will come here. And then uh, here you are holding the, the carbon, this carbon you are holding, you are not rotating this. You are rotating the single bond in such a way that these groups, F, B and E, they rotate by 60 degrees. So then you will get, uh, F will be here, E will come a little bit up, B will come forward here. So now you can see that uh, this is the wedge and dash, wedge and dash projection in staggered conformation. So you can see like in the direction like from here if you go in front of A there is nothing. So similarly in front of C there is nothing. In front of D there is nothing. You can feel it. So we, from here we can rotate 60 degree again. Let's This time let's rotate this carbon. So we will get 60 degree in such a way that A comes in front. C will be in the plane now and D will go back like this. So now we get this. From here we can uh, go into Fisher projection. So I like to be in the eclipsed form when I go into Fisher projection from uh, wedge and dash to Fisher directly. So for that imagine this person, this very teeny person, nanoscopic person. He still has um, these left and right hands. He still has a sense of left and right. So this person then he goes here and then he sees the molecule from above. You see from here he floats here and then sees the molecule from above. So from his eye this will be the top carbon. This will be uh, at the top and this will be at bottom. Try to think from his perspective. So at the top, what he sees that F is moving away from him and E and B are coming towards him. Okay, And then at the bottom, he will see C is going away from him 
and A and D are coming towards him. And this gives you your pressure projection. Remember, there is nothing to memorize in these kind of transformations. You can play around with these projections in whatever way you want. Thank you.